Hey everyone and welcome back to part 3 on the how to make a blocks for this type of game series. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to make a an energy system that, so that we can use it when dashing so that we are uh, prepared for making the double jump system in the next video. So I'm sorry this video took this long to make, it's because I really couldn't upload many videos this month. Uh, I was really busy but I'm happy to say that I'm going to be back to making tutorials again. And yeah, let's get right into it. Before this video starts, if you guys want to support me and want to have access to all of my project files, including the one you're watching right now, they will all be available on my Patreon in the Thunder tier. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is to add a module script to the services folder that we have in server script service, and we'll call it uh, player service. And inside of this player service, we're going to have a folder and we're going to call it player values. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get service script service, local server, script service. And it's going to be equal to game, colon, get service, service script service. Now we need to get replicated storage, so local replicated storage equals game, colon, get service, replicated storage. And now we need to get, uh, I think the, that's the services that we need. And we're going to get our uh player values folder right here so we're going to do local player values equals script dot player values and what i'm going to do in here is player actually we need to get players local players equals game colon get service players and here we're going to do players dot player added colon connect function and we're going to take the player that just joined but instead of doing it like this we're going to have a function in here function local function player added and it's going to take the player. Now we also need a function in here called character added, local function, character added. And this is, this is also going to take the player. And now we need another function in here for player removing. So local function, player removing. And this is also going to take the player. So what we're gonna do is uh, player added colon connect and we're gonna connect the player added function. Now we need to do players dot player removing players dot player removing colon connect and we're gonna do player removing and now we need to connect the character added function and the way we're gonna do that is by doing player dot character added colon connect function and this is going to take the character and in here we're gonna add a comma on the character added function and we're gonna take the character. And in here we're going to do a uh, coroutine dot wrap dot wrap and it's going to take the uh, character added function and in here the arguments that we're going to be sending are going to be the player and the character so what we can do here is we're going to be printing player uh, actually player dot name dot dot this character uh, what, uh, is added okay and in here we're going to do print player dot name dot dot just joined okay so the next thing we need to do now is in here we're going to be printing print player dot name dot dot uh, left okay so now when a character is added actually before that when the player is added what we need to do is get everything in this player values folder clone it and put it inside of the player because if you join the game each player has uh, is inside of the player's uh, service and we have uh, our player and what we want to do is take everything in there and put it in here so that each player has his own uh, temporary data. Okay, so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to add a uh, a uh, an int value and we're going to be calling it energy or maybe a number value would be better. I think int value is fine. I'm going to call it energy. Okay, and we're going to enter player service. And what we're going to do is for underscore comma v in in uh, player values in player values colon get children do v colon clone dot parent equals player. And if you play the game again, if we go to our player, we see energy. Okay, so we want our default energy to be 100. So we're going to go here and we're going to set it to 100. And what I'm going to do is enter movement service. And whenever we dash, what we need to do is uh, subtract some energy. So in here, we're going to do player 
dot energy dot value and we'll uh, put minus equals and maybe something like 30 or 10 or maybe 30 is good and what I'm going to do in here is before we even do this we're gonna do if and we're gonna put parentheses if player dot energy dot value minus and 30 is greater than zero is greater or equal to zero then actually we're gonna do if it's less than zero if it is less than zero then it will just return okay so we're gonna be playing the game again actually before we do that we need to add a delay so after let's say three seconds our uh, energy will be refilled so uh, task dot delay and something like three or maybe like four seconds function and we'll just do uh, player dot energy dot value equals and we're gonna do math dot max math, math dot min and we're gonna do uh, 100 comma and we're gonna do uh, player dot energy dot value plus 30 and if you play the game again I think that should work Okay, so we're going to go back to our energy right here, and as you can see, it's set to 100, and if we just dash, as you can see, now it's 70, 40, and 10, and now we can't dash anymore because we don't have enough energy, And but as soon as it refills, we should be able to dash again. Okay, I'm going to dash, and as you can see, it does work. Okay, so the next thing we need to do now is to, uh, instead of make it just subtract 30, what we're gonna do is make it so that it just makes it uh, so that it does that gradually so that it adds the energy back gradually so what we're gonna do is for i equals from one to uh, okay so we're gonna have a variable in here to make stuff easier local uh, dash energy equals 30 and in here we're gonna do dash energy and go back here and do dash energy and what we're going to do in here, from 1 to dash energy, do, and we will do just, I think we should just, uh, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to do task.weight, and we're going to do i, and we're going to divide that by uh, dash energy. Okay, and what I'm going to do now, actually, no, not i, I think the, the thing we should do is to, okay, let me think. Oh, yeah, we need to divide. Uh, the total time that we want this to take. Let's say we want this to take five seconds. And uh, before that, what we need to do is player dot energy dot value equals, and uh, we'll set it to math dot min and uh, player one hundred comma player dot energy dot value and uh, plus one. And if we just play the game again, I think that should work. It should take it should make a refill that will take five seconds. Okay, so we will dash, and our energy is now seventy. And after four seconds, I think it should refill, and the refill will take five seconds. Okay, I think that does work. Okay, so I think it it, it yeah it should work just fine. And what we're gonna do now is. Uh, make a bar that will display our energy so i'm going to close all of this and we'll go back here in starter gy and we're going to add we're going to add a uh, screen gy and we'll just call it main gy main gy and we're going to add a uh, frame and we'll set the size to 0.1 Point 0.1 comma 0 comma 0 point 0.1 comma 0 and that will convert it to scale now when you scale it it should be converted to scale instead of offset and I'm just going to make it this big I'm going to put it here we'll add a stroke so UI stroke and we'll make the UI stroke a little thicker something like 3 and we're gonna add a uh, UI gradient and now we're gonna go here and we're gonna set the color to be from a blue to an even darker blue something like that then we'll set the uh, actually I think this uh, we're gonna duplicate this frame 
and we're gonna put the duplicate inside of the frame and we're gonna set the size to one comma zero comma one comma zero and now we're gonna set the position to zero comma zero comma to zero comma zero comma zero comma zero and now when we just scale this back and now we can just get rid of the gradient on the background frame and I think if you just get rid of the Y stroke too, I think that would look better. And I think that definitely does look better. But I think we need to set the UI gradient's rotation to 90. And maybe make the color a little less dark. Okay. And now we just... Actually, this is a little too light. We're just going to make it darker. Okay, that's good. Now... I think if we just go here and put a white, that might give it a nice little effect, but I don't like how that looks. Mm, I think we, I mean, we could keep it, but I think we need to make it more su more uh, subtle. So I'm going to pause and mess around with the gradient and I'll be back. Okay, so I ended up just keeping the gradient like this and we're going to call this the bar and we're going to call this the bar Back the energy bar and the uh, bar we're gonna add a text to the energy bar and we're just gonna call it we're gonna set the text to something like uh, 100 out of 100 and text scale will be checked and the font will just be uh, I think this is good and we're gonna set the background transparency to 1 and the size to 1 comma zero comma one comma zero and we're gonna set the parent to be the energy bar and I think we need to change the text so text color to something uh, I think white would be good but I think that would require us to add a stroke to the text label and now we need to set the z index of this to two and I think that does look good I think I think this is good enough let's try that again Okay, this is definitely good enough. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to add a uh, a uh, module script to, to this. I want to call it UI controller. And what we're going to do in here is for underscore comma v in script comma get children do if v colon is a mod module script then require v and we might want to do this in the task spawn function and now we're gonna add a uh, module script inside of the UI controller and we're gonna call it uh, bars or maybe energy bar. And what we're gonna do now is we're just going to get player, players equals game equals game colon get service players and local player equals players dot local player. And now we will just need to get player GY. So local player GY equals player colon wait for child player GY. And local main GY equals player GY colon wait for child main GY. And now what we need to do is to get the energy bar. So local energy bar equals uh, main GY dot energy bar and local bar equals energy bar dot bar and now what we're going to do is we're going to get tween service so local tween service equals game colon get service tween service and what we're going to do is we're just going to uh, uh, to do a function we're going to create a function update energy bar and that will just okay so we're going to call the update energy bar function right here and we're going to do player on with for child energy dot changed comma connect function and we're just going to call the update energy bar function and in here we're going to do uh, bar dot size equals actually tween service colon create and we're going to do bar comma tween info dot new we're going to make it take uh something like 0 0.2 or 0. Uh, yeah 0 0.2 comma enum dot is enum dot is style dot sign and then we need to set the size to uh 
and we're just going to do uh, player dot energy bar dot value and uh, we're going to divide that by 100 and uh, actually this is going to be the x so udim2 dot from dot from scale and we're going to do that comma one comma play and and now we need to do energy bar dot text label dot text equals and we're just going to do player dot energy dot value and we're just going to do dot dot out of 100 slash 100 and also this should be energy not energy bar and i think in here we'll just change this to player comma with child energy energy okay so i think this should work we're gonna play the game and see if it does okay so if we go ahead and dash as you can see we lose energy and after a bit of time it will refill and it should be smooth and yeah that does look good and if we just keep on spamming this it will still work just fine and uh, let's check will it refill to 100 and yes it does okay so that's going to be it for today's tutorial if this helped make sure to subscribe like the video share it with your friends and i'll see you all in the next video bye